As you guys will pick up on, because we're going to do another video on gutting the hatch on the 350Z, gutting factory parts is a great way to lose a lot of weight on this car. And as you can tell by my door, there's not a whole lot of the original door left. Believe it or not, the fully set up door on the 350Z probably weighs like 120 pounds or something like that. There is a lot of weight in that door. This door, as it sits in front of you, still weighs 55 pounds. So you can see there's nothing left of the inner skin. There is nothing left of that little piece of metal that is used to attach the window motor. There's no window regulator, no glass, no speaker, no sound deadening. All of that extra metal structure that was there on the right side of the door, if that's gone, a lot of metal structure on the left side of the door and the bottom of the door, all gone. All that's left is the factory crash protection, the seal around the edge, and then I've got that little bar going down the middle to hold my door release so I can get in and out of the car easily. So it'll be really easy for most of you to just take everything out of your door. If it's not very hard, you just remove the door card, disassemble everything, remove as much as you can, but you're going to still be left with a lot of material over here, a lot of material up in the front, and you don't need it. It doesn't serve any purpose. You're not gonna bolt anything to it. It doesn't do anything. Of course, I took the entire wiring harness out. It connects just on the other side of that metal right there that's actually part of the chassis. All of that wiring out, it saved a lot of weight because you don't need it anymore. If you're gutting your door, if you're doing a track build, you don't need it. So I did cut out a lot of extra metal. These doors are made out of steel, so as much metal as you can remove, you are going to see some benefits from it. I did it with a cutoff wheel and a sawzall, just depending on where I was or what I was doing. And overall, I really like how it looked. I feel like I've got a nice, clean, cutout shape to it. This is just a piece of aluminum angle but I cut a little notch on and snapped the factory wire into it. And then it's bolted down on these two factory holes that already had threads in them. And then I just attached a little red strip to the end of the wire. So when I pull on this and just pull forward, what it'll do is it'll just actuate the door like it normally would with the handle. Some people retain the handle. That's perfectly fine. But that was easier for me to reach in my race seat, even with the harness tied down A and B. I think it looks a little bit more like a Porsche RS or something else like that where they're doing just the little pulls instead of having a full door mechanism. But really there's not a whole lot to tell just that even getting this gutted down to this point, if you take a whole factory door off and weigh it, however much it weighs, 110, 120 pounds, this you're still gonna have about 55 pounds of door left. But I'm not cutting out that factory side impact protection until I have a roll cage. Once I have a roll cage with some NASCAR bars or some sort of side impact protection, then my plan is to replace this entire door with a fiberglass skin. So it's really just gonna be comprised of an outside skin to keep the silhouette of the car, keep the air out, and keep air flowing smoothly down the side of a car. I'll have a little bit of this inner structure just to give it some strength and then of course it'll mount the mirror however we do mirrors in the future i may go to some sort of inboard mirror so that i'm reducing my drag but it should take that 55 pound door down to something that's only five or ten pounds because that protection function is going to move from the door to the cage so that will say between both doors over a hundred pounds off the car on a car that already weighs 2700 pounds so i'm going to be removing a lot of weight at that point so there is a lot of weight to be removed in these doors. You just need the supporting modifications if you're going to fully realize that. So if you have any questions, of course, drop them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.